I'm not one to prognosticate because it makes the value of my video that of whether or not the prediction comes true, which I see as a very mediocre thing. I mean, at worst, I'm wrong, and then I look like a dickhead from centuries ahead, or even decades and years ahead, whatever time it is. Or, if I'm right, then that becomes the only thing of value to the video, not necessarily the implications of what I'm saying. But, America itself is not a nation. Nation implies a birth of a different people. I mean, it's more Pan-American. There's admixture of not just of Anglo-Saxons, but Irish, Italian, uh, Native American, you name it. But ultimately, it's not going to become a nation until the issue between the Brahmins and the Vaishyas comes to a resolve. And that's a fact. So how is it going to do it? Well, I don't know, maybe the fact that Brahmins only have one or two kids at best. They're falling into their own LGBT fantasy secret cow bullshit, meaning that they're all going to be pajama boys and never have kids. And the girls are essentially going to be of the Dysiscum variety, which, yeah, proud of you, but <laughs> these vices, as much as they're being economically disenfranchised and politically ridiculed and placed in areas with a lot of blacks, I mean, there's a reason the South is terrible, and it's not because of them, it's because a place like Atlanta, Georgia has 60% blacks in it. You ever notice that? <laughs> and of course, hold on, my anus is breaking down, just kidding. Of course, the problem with all of this is that they're ultimately still having more kids. No matter what, they're still going to outbreed the Brahmins, and if America is going to become a nation, it's going to become a nation of those guys, which is optimistic if the left doesn't make them extinct, or everyone in that environment extinct, except for the lowest of the low, which would probably be the anti guys, the Hollywood and the dead crowd. And what would the new political structure be? Because I doubt that these places are going to break down into monarchies, because we can't into monarchy anymore. Sorry, but leftism kind of killed the monarchy. But we end up getting a bunch of republics. So what I figure is, because at best, hopefully if I prognosticate correctly, the Vizemen men are going to win out. They're going to win out because they have more kids and because they're healthier. And that's one of the advantages of economic being economically punished in a way that the meek shall always inherit the earth. These Brahmins are going to win out. They're going to fade out as an anomaly. And what I propose is national democracy. It's going to sound weird, coming from a guy like me, but I figure if National Socialism is a legitimate concept, why not have National Democracy? Say we turn each individual state region into 
its own or just couplings of them I don't want to draw the line because I'm not fringe elements I'm not grog I don't do that but say you do something like the all nations party so instead of making a party you have these individual states all function with their own democratic function function of their own function what the fuck am I talking about I must be stoned out of my mind on something that I forgot I took But we have national democracy. And it's gonna kick ass because we're not gonna vote for things that are <laughs> ludicrous that are gonna help another side. We're not gonna have the wealth transfer. It's not gonna be any of that. Instead, what we're gonna have is a democracy where maybe what's democratically enforced is the next leader it's gonna be a political thing best of all we can finally celebrate something that's more than just political we can have a system that also celebrates its own its own culture we can have a culture that we actually look up to I mean, I'm not a fan of country music it's not necessarily a thing of personal preference, but rather just the fact that I don't really listen to it. But we could possibly see cultures where people really do identify with their nation as a nation more than just politics and economic things also with their artists with their personalities with whatever that's what they identify with and that's going to be cool they're not going to vote for these wealth transfers they're not going to work to hurt each other they're going to stay a relatively economically tepid environment but that's going to make sure that they last that they're fruitful ironically and of course you're gonna have maybe a union in the Americas for defensive reasons but that's redundant that should be obvious at this point but I really like the idea because it implies that after centuries of this ridiculous conflict it's finally over you can finally have a political structure that these people do want, but it's not going to effectively be a bad thing because it doesn't suffer from the faults of regular democracy. The issues that become relevant are really more than just political, and you're not dealing with people voting against each other from opposite sides of the coast. You're not going to deal with pissed off New Yorkers voting against policies in Arizona to stop illegal immigrants when those issues don't affect New York but they really affect Arizona you're not gonna have that and that's all the better national democracy I don't see how it fail I mean, it has all the makings for a good structure. So let me know what you think. On the comments section, this is just a thought. Yeah, I'm really going to go neuro-linguistic programming on you and say it's just a thought so that you don't try to freak out on me or anything or you don't say, well, that's not, that's not a authoritarian enough. You're giving too much of the masses a voice. Who cares? This is Mr. Wonka 7 and
and whatever, I'm just gonna do noise. That's what you guys want, right? Ah! 